All right. Good customers ended up getting a brand new swimming pool. There's the filter system. And there's the propane tank back there. So these four are coming out right here. They, they think the roots have been damaged. Too close to the house, all that. Too close to the pool. So right now we just got this one limb on this maple that's hanging around. So we're going to bounce around the back side of the tool up here. And it's right over top of the filter. So we just shot a line up there. Threw a line actually through it right up there. And it's through the double rings. And to the loader. We're going to, we're going to see how far we move it just with the... Uh, when this when this machine goes back how far that thing starts moving go just go just go there it is okay so that's one way to do it no chainsaw necessary As a matter of fact now we gotta dig the chainsaw out because I left it right underneath here Ah, uh, was not necessary. I was just going to rip cut it, but I could hear it ripping all by itself. And how did our filter make out? Oh, so pretty. Ain't that nice? Not touched by a branch. Let's take a look at the, the rip here. I've used the technique successfully many times, but it's rare, but over the years, plenty of times, where you just use the skid loader and you just rip, that, rip it to the ground. That's called tree work. What do you guys think?